guys, it's Jane. It's Wednesday today. It's also the first of the month. I probably should be doing a monthly wrap up, but I'm not going to. Um, I'll get around to that. I'll get around to that. But today I'm doing top five Wednesday because the topic for this week is favorite chapter headings. I love me a chapter heading. Um, I just think that they really add a certain level of elegance and charm to a book and I mourn a little bit in my heart of hearts that they seem to have dropped along the way. Uh, they're much less common in modern works than they are in oldie timey books. Um, but I have found some great ones and even some from modern books, not from oldie timey books. So you'll just have to find out when I list them down. But before I get started, of course, we have to run through the thing that says... <gasps> Top 5 Wednesday was created by Lainey at Ginger Reads Lainey and I'll link to her below and I will also link to the Goodreads group so that you can find out more about Top 5 Wednesday if you would like to. Now, with no further ado, number 5. Number 5 comes from Zadie Smith's White Teeth. This is a corker of a book and... Um, it's a bit annoying that it was a debut novel, quite frankly, because the bar is now set fairly high for the aspiring debut novelist. But anyway, here we go. Chapter 13, The Root Canals of Hortense Bowden. Extra points for including the name Hortense, Zadie. Well done. Number four comes from Victor Hugo's Les Miserables. I've got no idea how you say that, but that sounds kind of sort of nearly Frenchy, doesn't it? Um, part three, book eight, chapter 21. The victims should always be arrested first. Excellent advice, Victor. My number three pick comes from Michael Chabon's the Gentleman of the Road. This is not an oldie book. It's just written and um, wrapped up to look like an oldie timey book. And I love a bit of an oldie timer tale of adventure. So this was a winner for me. Um, and my favourite chapter heading from this is chapter five. On the observance of the fourth commandment among horse thieves. How's that for a zinger? Excellent work. Now, number two, we're really bringing in the big guns now. Number two, Chuck Dickens. Now, I could easily, when I was going through all my books and looking at the chapter headings and spilling dust all over the house a couple of days ago, I could easily have made a top five just from Charles Dickens' books because the man is a master of the form. But anyway, this is the one that I've decided to use as my exemplar exemplar of the Charles Dickens heading title and um, it's from Oliver Twist. It's from chapter XXIII or you know 23 and it says, <clears throat> she says taking a deep breath, chapter 23 which contains the substance of a pleasant conversation between Mr Bumble and a lady and shows that even a beetle may be susceptible on some points. Thank you, Charles. Now, all that remains is to reveal to you my number one pick, and that comes from, drum roll please, Hunter S. Thompson's Fear and Loathing in Las Vegas. That's right. My number one pick is chapter two, The Seizure of $300 from a pig woman in Beverly Hills. Thank you very much. That's all I have time for today. I hope you're all well and I will talk to you later. Bye.